Artistic Gamer 7 and welcome back to some more Pokemon to create a sim videos. This one here we are actually making Dusknor. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I feel like this is one of the more confident ones that I'm saying right <laughs> into a sim. And if you're not familiar with Dusknor, he is Gen 4 and he comes from Dus Dus Claps? Or Dus No, Dus Claps is the middle one. The skull is the first one. I'm confusing myself in my brain. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, he is the final evolution of Dust Skull, which actually is in a gen before him. I want to say it's the very previous gen, gen before him, but again, gen three through six, I'm a little iffy on. <laughs> I have to sometimes look this stuff up to remind myself exactly for sure, and then usually I don't make the video right when I look it up, and... I, or at least not the voiceover part. Um, and then I forget when the voiceover part comes or I'm not I'm totally sure. But but you know what? I'm, I'm mostly sure. But anyway, yeah. So I turned him into a sim and he is basically the Grim Reaper of Pokemon. But I do remember him in the show that I think he also sort of protected people from that wasn't like their time to go basically from entering the spirit world so like there's like areas that you can get in there and he stops them from getting in if they're not supposed to um so he's not like you know a whole whole bunch of bad he actually does try to you know do some good like no it's not your time stop <laughs> um but yeah when i i remember reading on him a little bit and it talks about like the little jagged- you should be seeing a picture of the Pokemon in the bottom left. Those little jagged things like open up and like <laughs> and then just leave the corpse there. It just takes the soul. Uh, honestly, when you start reading a little bit more about the lore- because I, I admit sometimes when I play the game that I don't play- I don't pay attention to the Pokedex as much. Like the entry that it says and also it varies from game even if it's like like, let's just take the most recent one, Sword and Shield. Sword's entries for the same exact Pokemon will say something different from Shield's. And then, like, like you take Sun and Moon, and then there's Ultra Sun and Moon. All four of those had different entries for the same Pokemon. So, like, some of the, like, lore and stuff is spread out and are said differently in different games. And then I think some of it starts to be added on from, like, the show and things like that as well. So, but, to, you know, the more I look at these, I'm realizing a lot of these Pokemon have some iffy past or iffy things about them. It's like, eh! but is this, this secretly supposed to be, like, horror uh, when you read it? But at the same time, I like that. I like that it's, like, a little kid's thing, but there's some really creepy elements to it, and I love it. But, yeah, anyway... Back to uh, Dusknor here. So I will say, here's the thing with Dusknor as how I liked him ending up. As a sim, I love him. I think he turned out really well. As a sim who is supposed to be portraying Dusknor, it's alright. <laughs> um, one, the shirt that I do pick for him, I really like it except for the fact that it's got letters on it. But the fact that it was like this blackish gray sweater that had these yellowish gold lines on it, I immediately was like, this has to be it. One, I was having a really hard time finding gold and black together. And then once I would find it, having it be a style or something that I would imagine it being or looking like, yeah, didn't really fit. But with, I think the sweater, because the fact that his hands look like they come out of something slightly separate, I think the sweater does fit. I just wish those letters was not on it. As for the jewelry and stuff that I gave him, I gave him those gold pieces of jewelry, like on the nose pieces, the, the snake bite little things. Are they snake bites still if they're just the dots versus the rings? I don't know if there's a difference. I'm assuming they're still called snake bites. And then the one that goes from the ear to the nose. I just really thought that one looked cool. And for as far as the other ones were, I was trying to make sure to have some gold elements because he is like black, more towards gray, like different shades of gray and gold. So I was trying to bring that gold in because even early on into this, I knew finding something that was the gray, black, or gold, like gray or black anyway, with gold was not going to be easy. 
Especially since I didn't actually want to go too dark with the black because technically, he, except for like the pieces closest to his hands and even those aren't really black, but they're, they're close enough that I would have been maybe went with it. Early on, I definitely knew that I was going to <laughs> have a hard time finding clothing to try to portray that. So I was trying to get that gold in in other ways. As for the eye patch, <laughs> the eye patch is solely because Dusk... Dusknoor only has, in fact, this whole entire evolution line only has one eye. So, you know, I decided to cover up, you know, Sims, you can't force them to be a cyclops or anything like that. So I covered up his other eye, so he only has one working eye <laughs> to make it try to make sense. And with the pants, I was just basically trying to find pants that had a grayish, a darker gray tone that met with that shirt, because where the shirt bunches up there. I didn't want his stomach showing. One, I, I thought it looked weird. Two, I'm going with the illusion that, you know, the whole opening of the tummy thing. Don't need to see that yet. Because, <laughs> but yeah, so that is my whole thing. Like, I was, I went through pants. I did look at some shorts. And I'll, there was more shorts that were meeting to this spot on the pants than actual pants, I think. At least almost every short that I chose met up there, so the fact that... But the thing was, is I really just didn't want to give him shorts. I wanted to give him pants because with Dust Noir, he's got the little... Technically, he's got a, like a little wisp tail thing. So I wanted to try to make the gray go all the way down from the shirt all the way down to the feet. So yeah, I definitely... I was trying to keep that going and not have any skin showing as far as the skin tone i just went with a random skin this is one of the few that i didn't like try to grasp at something on the pokemon itself <laughs> to get a skin tone i just went with sort of a random skin tone one that i thought maybe would work right and his hair i gave him a little bun on top of his head because he has like this little thing on top of his head and i think that is of some importance to the spirit world if i remember correctly but i i i mean, like I said, I, I look at these things when, like, I'm making the Pokemon and then I forget to look them up when I do the voiceovers. <laughs> so I'm going off of memory. But anyway, like I said, the Sim I love. The Sim as Dusk Noir is okay. Like, I like them pretty well. But it's just... I don't know. I guess I'm just not 100% on it being a Sim of Dusk Noir. But anyway, I still hope you like how he turned out. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that lovely like button, subscribe, and all that lovely YouTube goodiness. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!